Namaskaram everyone welcome back to the 21st episode of our master handle series and this is also the last episode of our inventory system series and this is the finale where we are going to add our final discard case and we will handle all the edge cases that can happen in your game while maintaining the inventory items so let's just get started all right so we are in our editor now so before we move to discard case there are two updates that i want to make so in the weapon case graph in the toggle item pickup, when you release the item, it should be flipped only when you are placing it horizontally. So the way we did it here, we had to do this here as well, but I think we missed it. So let's connect this. Another correction that I wanted to make is, let's hit compile and go to inventory case. In the toggle case visibility, this set game paused always returns true whenever the execution is successful. So this is not the inventory status. Inventory status is this. So I'll just plug it here, save and compile. So when you select an item and you are about to pick it up, we have to set the rotation as well. So if the item is not in horizontal position, that means it is not zero. It is in some other position and we have to set that in the current rotation count, right? So for this, again, in the on toggle item pickup, when you successfully pick the item, we have to set the current rotation count here and it will be the holding item. We split this and then we go for select int. And we plug this here. So if it is not inverted, that means it is either horizontally placed or vertically placed. So for that, we need zero for horizontal and one for vertical. So this will give zero when it is not placed inverted and since this is placed vertically we will go for one if not then we will go for zero and then we will perform the add so let me do this and let's say if it is inverted then it will start from two so two then this will say horizontally inverted so horizontal will be zero zero plus two will give you two if it is vertically inverted, then it will give one, this will give two, and this will become three. So this is how you update the current rotation count when you pick the item. Okay, save and compile. Now, before we go to the discard case, I wanted to handle the equipment situation. So this allows you to pick the item. It is located in the event graph of BP third person character. Let's remove it from here, cut and paste it in the inventory graph. And this interact action, works differently so if inventory is not open it will try to pick the items from nearby and if the inventory is open then this action should be used to equip the item or the weapon so for this i'm going to create a custom event name it interact and we will call this here so save and compile go back delete this one and call the interact here and it should be plugged in with the started okay and make sure in the actions, IA action, this is allowed to trigger when pause. When the inventory is open, the game will be paused and we want this to work. So first we will check whether the inventory is open or not. So I'll get the case actor. I'll check is inventory hidden. So if the inventory is hidden, then we will pick the item. So this is the event that we were calling. And if the inventory is not hidden, then we have to equip. So to pick any item, we basically need to change the equipment area in the widget. So for this, I'll go in the weapon case graph. I'll create a custom event here, name it change equipment. Okay. And for this, I'll create a variable, call it equip item index. And this would be of type integer. Now we'll go for a branch node. So we will check if this new item index type integer. If it is greater than or equal to zero, then we would like to set the value here. And now we need to notify the case that the widget has to be updated. So I'll go in the inventory case under event graph. I'll create a custom event, call it update equipped area. Now this will call the widget instance and it will call update equipped area. And this equip TL position and the equip area will be taken from the input. So save and compile, go back, and now you can call that here. So case actor, update equipped area, and now we need to get that item. So use the owned item, get a reference, connect this equipped item index here. This will give you this pin, 
and after splitting it pass the equip top left position here and the size would be get 2d vector flip it only if it is placed vertically and pass this here awesome we are done save and compile and now in the interact under the event graph of inventory manager we can call this so i'll call the change equipment area here and the new item index would be selected item index pass this here save and compile now if you collect three weapons let's say if i select the second one it switches to second if i click somewhere in the empty box it doesn't change awesome so now we can give it a comment interact save and compile and now in the weapon case graph under the on toggle item pickup when you pick and release the item so as soon as you release you have to change the equipment area why i'm saying this is because so let's say if you picked up an equipped item and then if you place it somewhere else then the equipped area should be changed as well so i'll just call the change equipment and it will just redraw the equipped item area awesome save and compile now another edge case when you are picking up the item then after pick up we do not want the equipped area position to be visible so if i play and if i collect an item select e press f that area is still showing equipped so we don't want that so for this what we can do is when you successfully pick the item via this flow we will check if the picked item index is equal to the equipped item index if that is the case that means you are moving the equipped item so until or unless you don't release it we will keep the area hidden so for this i'll just directly call the case actor and we'll call update equipped area and i will set everything to zero now if i save and compile because as soon as you release this event will be fired and the area will be drawn again so if i select two items equip it press f now you can see it is no longer showing e but as soon as i release it it assigns that area good now the discard case so for this we will create a variable and we will call it free indexes and it would be of type integer but it would be an array of integer save and compile create a function call it discard items and now we will go for a branch node so we will check if there are any discarded items if it is greater than 0 that means there are some items present so we need to remove them so for this i'll go for a sequence node first what i will do i'll bring this discarded items i'll convert it to array and then i will go for a sequence node now we need to remove the mesh and we need to mark the place in the owned items that it is not available so these are the two things once you discard something we will just mark that slot as available we will not remove that item that item will not be visible to you in the widget because we will destroy the mesh and we will keep that index in the free indexes variable so that that can be reassigned to a new item that you are going to equip okay so for this i'm going to go in the inventory case i'll create a custom event call it delete items and i'll go for a for each loop and then we will call our destroy item function that we created last time and the item key would be this and the array would be coming from here and let's rename the input to keys okay now this will delete everything remember in the deletion we have this refresh scene so we are not going to call it again and we will call this in the discarded items so case actor delete items plug this pin here and the keys is nothing but this now the second thing that we have to do is go for a reverse for each loop in the reverse for each loop we will again plug this array first thing we want to do is free the slots from the slot manager So for this I'll call the clear slots of area the function we created we need to get the item so I'll use the owned items I'll get a reference and remember we need to use the array element not the array index and split this for grid position we have to convert this 2d fvec to ivec we'll plug it here for dimension we will use get 2d vector and we will flip it if it is placed vertically and we will also convert it to ivec and then plug it here and once this is done let's break this pin again and call the free indexes here it would be easy and we will pass this array element here now we are saying that this index which is about to be removed 
please add it in the free indexes so that when you get a new item, you can place that new item at this index instead of extending the array length. Okay. So save and compile. Once all this is done, we will check if the free indexes contains the equipped item index. So if that is the case, that means you have discarded the equipped item. So if you have discarded the equipped item, then the equipment area should be updated as well. So first we will set the equipped item index to minus one because you have nothing equipped at this moment. And we will call the case actor to update the equipment area directly to zero zero. Now we need to take care in the add items. We are using this dot length and now we have to use the keys from free indexes if they are available before creating a new key. So I'll just create a function generate item key. And what this will do is it will go for a branch node. It will check whether we have any free indexes. If we have, then we would like to return. And if not, then also. So if we have any free index, we would like to get the first entry. So get a copy and whatever the first index is, just give it as a key. And if that is not the case, that means you have nothing in the free indexes. All the indices are active. So we will get the new key by getting the length. Okay. Save and compile. Go back to add item and remove this piece. Call the generate item key here. Pass this here and bring the local variable of item key here. Connect this to this, this to this and here. And now we have to remove the item key from the free indexes because we just assigned. But we will only do that if the item is placed successfully in the inventory. So here we will release the key. I'll go for free index. Remove item, not the index. Use the remove item node. And the item key would be here and plug this here. So if the item key is new, then anyway, it will not be present. So this will fail silently. But if it is present, then it will be removed. And here also we have to remove this add because if you are assigning to the existing index, then this won't work. So I'll use set array element. Plug this here. Plug this here. Item would be this. And the index would be the item key. So let's bring this here. Connect it here. Okay, so I have beautified things a bit and make sure this size to fit is true so that if the index is greater than the size, then it will increase the size of the array. Okay, save and compile. And now we can go to the toggle inventory. And this is the event that we are firing. I'll open this. So we will check if the inventory is open. If it is the case, then we will move the case pointer. Otherwise, we will discard the items that are present in the discarded items array. So I'll go for this false one and this will discard all the items. And let's say you have picked up something and now you have moved it and you haven't placed it back and you close the inventory. So in that case, we want our picked up item to go back to its original position, right? So this is also one of the edge case that can happen in your game. So to tackle this, I'll get the picked item index. If it is greater than or equal to zero and we'll go for a branch node. So if that is the case, then we would like to update the item position, which we have picked up. Nothing is going to be updated in the owned items, but in the inventory, we have placed the mesh somewhere else. So we have to reset it. And for that only we are doing this. So if the picked up item index is greater than zero, then we will call this update item position and we will access the owned items, get a copy and pass this in the inventory item. And you also need to pass the key and that can be used by this. And once this is done, we also need to reset this picked item index to minus one. So to make sure that you have nothing in your hand and the picked item index is minus one, we will create a custom event. Reset picked item. And this will reset the item index to minus one. And this will also take care the in hand item. So item in hand changed and we do not want any item in the hand. And we will call this here before we open our inventory. So once you open, we make sure that everything is reset. So we will call this reset picked item and we will plug this here. Okay. And one more thing that you have to take care is the equipped item index should be minus one by default when your inventory is spawned. 
the current rotation count should be zero the selected item index should be one okay and now since we have completed everything we can go back to main event graph and instead of sending the choice directly we will play the preview connect this to this this one to this one and the nearest item would be there sorry and in the toggle case visibility we should call the toggle discard case here from the event graph and the new state should be false no matter if you are closing or opening the case it will always be false in the inventory case in the widget blueprint make sure show discard case is set to false okay by default so that it doesn't show okay this was just for testing and we need to do two optimizations first in the third person character in the scene capture component 2d make sure the capture every frame and capture on movement both are false okay they will be set to true by the toggle inventory so as soon as you open the inventory it will return true and then it will set the capture every frame to true otherwise it will set it to false but by default it should be false so that we do not consume memory and resources. Do the same for inventory case. The scene capture component 2D, you should mark it false in both the cases. And in the toggle case visibility, you have to do this thing. So just break this pin, bring the scene capture component and set capture every frame. Pass this, pass this here. And this should be passed here. So this will only capture when the inventory is open, otherwise it will pause. So this will save you a lot of resources. And you can leave this one, it is fine. Also in the on inventory toggle, once you reset the picked item, also reset the selected item index, set it to minus one. Okay, before you start. Collect, collect, no. Yes, I, you can always move it all the way here, press I, you are back to zero zero. All right guys, so that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed the inventory system series. And now we are going to begin our merchant shop in the shooting range. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with your friends. So I have divided the Master Unreal series into different playlists, one for locomotion, another one for the inventory system. Share it with your friends and do join the Discord community. And if you have any hurdles while developing the game, feel free to comment down them below. I'll be happy to help and stay tuned and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.